the more my career grows, the more pressure I feel to always create something that people can appreciate. The challenges grow and the stress can grow and sometimes, you know, there's definitely a sense of dread. What if I fail? What if I can't make it better next time around? I just continue and I just push myself. Photography always created this sort of struggle for me because I like working with my hands and I couldn't do that just with a camera. So making glass plate negatives, very tactile, building sets um, also, and then it creates this all-encompassing sort of career path that lets me work in the way that I like to and feels very much my own. I don't really want to have a digital image that's so clean and perfect with no imperfections. I love the bubbles and the burn marks and the scratches and all of these things that create this dream or this space where you can get lost in and feel, feel like you're seeing something for the first time. It's so much about the process and it, it makes me approach the concepts and think about what I'm doing in a completely different way than than I would if I were working with a digital camera. I think maybe now, after working so long with large format, I might be able to get in that zone with a digital camera, but it did sort of form the way that I think about taking photos and the experience of shooting. There are these plates, I can spray water on them, I can develop them in heat, I can agitate them in the chemistry and it all adds to the effect. Sometimes it makes it feel like it's underwater or like a bit faded and foggy. Um, so really it's a technique that I've used to my advantage to create that dreamlike quality. Each piece holds these little stories and these little moments that they can grab onto or relate to or become a bit entangled with. We all connect with nature in different ways, but sometimes it's you know your grandmother's garden. Sometimes it's the environment that you played in as a child. Sometimes it's something that you found later in life, or you know a place of solitude that you can get away from it all. There are different ways that we connect, and whether you're a farmer or a scientist or an artist or you know a business person, you're going to connect with nature in different ways. So. I do try to include elements and opportunities for people to connect in ways that feel natural to them. We're at a really interesting time in history right now and artists are able to explore that time in a way that no politician or scientist could. We can ask questions, we can involve philosophical concepts and help people understand what's happening in the world in a very different way. And so being part of that, part of that conversation, and understanding what came before and what is coming in the future is something I'm very lucky to be involved in. <laughs>